Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about unary operators in Java. In our previous classes, we already discussed about uh, bitwise logical operators. Please watch those classes and come back here. Whatever the operators we discussed in our previous classes, uh, they are binary operators. So binary operator, the operator symbol is going to be applied between two operands. If it is applied between two operands, we call it as binary operator. Now coming to the unary operator, if the unary, unary operators are going to be applied for a single operand, then we call it as unary operators. In this unary operators, with examples, you are going to understand it very, very better. So unary operator, uh, we are having two types, postfix and prefix. So first we are going, uh, we take an example and understand uh, postfix. Let's take the example. The postfix symbols are plus plus minus minus. Two operators are there. Plus plus operator and minus minus operator. Similarly, in prefix also we are having a plus plus minus minus single minus uh, this complement symbol and uh, this uh, exclamatory symbol. For what purpose we are going to use these symbols, we will understand with examples. Coming to the postfix operators, example, a is equal to 5. So, we are not writing exact syntax. Actual syntax should be int a is equal to 5. Hoping that you know that those basics. We are we just writing the code like this. a is equal to 5 means we take a variable a is equal to 5. System.out.println of so we are displaying the value of a here for single operator we applied the plus plus operator this is postfix if the operator has written after the operand we call it as postfix if it is written before the operand we call it as prefix operator see system.out.println of this statement is used to display the value of a what we are mentioning here is a plus plus postfix operator applied so what plus plus operator is going to do it is postfix postfix understand it properly what's the meaning of it is first assign the value of a to this statement for this statement if you assign the value of a what is the value of a 5 after this statement then increment the value of a that is what postfix operator means means when you when it applied to this this statement for this statement what is the value of a 5 so that's why it is going to display 5 after this statement the value of a is going to be increment plus plus means increment a one time a is equal to a plus one this is what the meaning of plus plus but do it post after assigning then do it then increment the value of a that is what the meaning of post fix so understand it properly most of them will get confused here first assign the value after completion of this then increment the value so a plus plus in this statement it is going to display as a 5 after this statement what's the value is going to be a is equal to a plus 1 5 plus 1 6 a is a 6 is assigned to a now the value of a is a 6 so that's why after this statement if you write the statement again system.out.println of a what it is going to display 6 you try to you write the code and execute the code for better practice we do multiple examples in, in, in the later classes, but as of now, in order to understand the concepts, you try to solve, you try to execute this code. Similarly, one more example for better understanding of postfix ex, postfix operators, a is equal to 5, b is equal to 6, c. We have taken three variables, c is equal to, we have written, we are writing a statement here, expression here, a plus 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 b this plus is a binary operator it is applied between a and b this plus plus is a unary operator applied for a it is post fix operator means initially what's the value of a 5 first assign this value 5 to this statement so now here value of a is 5 
5 plus value of b is 6 5 plus 6 how much 11 11 is assigned to c after this increment the value of a that is what the meaning of post fix after completion of this statement what is the value of a 6 but in this statement in this statement what is the value of a 5 first assign the value then after completion of this statement increment a that is what the meaning of a post fix increment so c if you display c system dot out dot print ln of c means it is going to display 11 uh, system dot out dot print ln of a means 6 because after this statement a incremented by 1 that is what the meaning of a plus plus similarly in place of a minus minus means first assign the value 5 plus 6 after that decrement a is equal to a minus 1 then a is going to display 4 c is going to display same 11 this is how we are going to use post fix operators now coming to the next example similarly minus minus example also we have explained here a minus minus if you go with prefix the exact opposite increment then assign we take the example with a same example a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 c c is equal to plus plus a plus b what is the meaning of this first increment the value of a what is the value of a 5 first increment it after incrementing what is the value of a 6 then assign 6 plus 6 which is going to be 12 6 plus 6 is saved in C. If you display C, it is going to display 12. Now you have to get clarity what is postfix and what is prefix means. Postfix operator, plus plus operator, prefix plus plus operator. Same, similarly, minus minus decrement and assign if it is prefix. So C is equal to minus minus A plus B if you write that statement first decrement the value of A because it is prefix operator plus plus operator decrement the operator means 5 minus 1 which is 4 now assign it to A 4 plus 6 10 you are going to get 10 here that is how prefix plus plus and postfix plus plus will be used plus plus minus minus will be used now coming to the next examples uh, unary minus uh, see if you want to give negative numbers we are going to use the symbol unary minus a is one of the example int a is equal to minus 2 for this constant 2 for the integer value 2 we placed it as a uh, before that we placed it as minus single minus means uh, negate the value minus 2 and assign to a now a contains a minus 2 similarly a is equal to 20 b is equal to 10 c one more example for better understanding c is equal to minus a plus b so before a we have mentioned the unary minus symbol what is the value of a 20 but if you make it as minus a means minus 20 plus 10 b contains 10 minus 20 plus 10 which is assigned to c means minus 10 if you display system dot out dot print ln of c you are going to get minus 10 similarly next example we are going to use this symbol as a bitwise complement bitwise complement what is that bitwise complement int a is equal to 5 b b is equal to complement a means take each and every bit in the value of a and complement it see system dot out dot print ln of b is e when you display b you are going to get minus 6 why we are getting minus 6 5 this is the value of 5 for understanding purpose we have taken only 7 bits if it is integer it is going to be 32 bits in the 32 bits first three bits are 101 one. remaining all are zeros these are basics of number system binary number system hoping you already know those basics negative number representation two's complement representation of negative numbers these basics covered if you are not good at these basics these are must for computer science student please watch our digital logic design and complete the first 25 videos on a number system then come for the 
coding part. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Bitwise complement means if the first bit is 0, make it as 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1 means convert it into 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. This is the value of 2's complement representation of minus 6. That's why it is going to display minus 6. This is a bitwise complement. Now coming to the next one, logical not. Not. This is the symbol. Exclamatory symbol is the symbol for the logical not. What's the meaning of that? Boolean x is equal to true. System dot out dot print ln of not x. What's the meaning of that? True means false. That is what logical not means. So that it is going to display false, not x. Means actually it is true. That is why it is going to display is a false. So these are the unary operators we are going to use in our Java programming language. Hope you understand these examples. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.